how to take cute, fun, and aesthetic, 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 aesthetic. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. I think it's aesthetic notes. I'm also going to be showing you guys all types of really helpful and cute pens, markers, and highlighters. I'm also going to be showing you guys all types of fun and cute titles to do for your headers. So in this video today, I'm going to be using this five star lined notebook and I think this notebook's super cute because it has like a gold accent when it comes to the designs and I really like it. But obviously it comes to your preference when it comes to what notebook you want to use. You could use lined, graphed, and like the dot ones. Um, I usually use lines for notes but then graphed for math. I don't really use the dot ones. I think those are called bullet journals. But yeah. So the, this is my pencil case. Um, it literally doesn't close because I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of pens and markers in here. So I'm just going to be showing you guys like my top favorite pens and markers. So let's get started. All right, so these are my favorite outlining pens. So they are like very thin felt brush pens. Um, so this is a black one. This is how it looks. And I got this in a pack of 10 markers at Paper Source for $20. And I really like the colors. They're all really, really beautiful. And they work really well. Sadly, the gray one doesn't work anymore because I used it so much. But we should take a second in memory of this beautiful gray brush pen. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Okay, we're back. So these are my outlining pens. And when I say outlining pens, they're like the pens that I write all my letters with and then I color in. It, it really depends what type of design I'm doing. So let's put these aside. And then I think you guys have probably heard of these literally in every video, but I'm gonna put them in color order because I like putting stuff in color order, and then we'll be back. So they, <laughs> so these are the one and only Zebra Mild Liners. You know, for a while, I actually thought they were called Zebra Mid Liners, but then I looked at the pen and it said mild, and I was like, why did I think it's mid? mid? but whatever. So I literally love these pens. They are amazing. Well, they're actually not pens, they're markers. So this is how they look. They have amazing color. And what I like about them is they have a highlighter side right here. And then on the other side, they have like a, like a fine, Side where you can like draw and stuff with it and I really really like it and I got this in a pack of 15 at Target for $20 so I also really do like these pilot Frixonite um, highlighters so these came in a pack of four and they're the light pastel colors and then these came in a pack of five but i had to throw two of them away because the ink ran out because i love them so so much and what is so cool about these highlighters is obviously they're a highlighter but they're also erasable so you know how sometimes you highlight something and you didn't mean to highlight it well now you can erase it and i love these because i make a lot of mistakes and erasable highlighters are literally the best and the colors are so vivid and beautiful so these cost $5 and these ones also cost $5. And now I'm gonna be showing you guys like all of my pens that I really like to use for my actual like writing the notes down. Cause all the stuff that I showed you guys right now are for like headers and for keynotes. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys like the actual notes, what I write with. So when it comes to pencils and stuff like that, I definitely do like using lead pencils more than normal pencils. I feel like they just make my handwriting look neater. neater. And so the lead pencils that I always use are the BIC lead pencils. 
All of these are BIC. They just have different designs. Like this one's like a black um, lead pencil and then it has like a green. I have no idea what these are called, but yeah. This one's the same, it just has a red one of those. And then these are, these parts are white, but then these are different colors. And I got these in a pack of I think 100 for $10 at Staples, I'm pretty sure. They, it was on sale and it was a great sale, so I got them because these are literally my favorite pencils. And then when it comes to erasable pens, I have a couple that I really, really, really like. So these ones, which are pilot pens. Um, they're also the friction, friction. Oh my God, I said friptonite. I meant it's friction. I don't know what I was saying. Okay. So they're the friction pilot pens and this one is like a ballpoint pen and it's erasable. And then I also have these ones, which are all different colors. Like this one's blue, this one's pink, this one's green, this one's orange, and this one's purple. Um, and they're kind of, they're gel pens and they're also erasable. That's an eraser on top and they erase really, really well. And they're from the same company as these so um, I got these at the dollar store for I think two dollars and they came in a pack of ten but the other ones I um, I don't really know where I put them my mistake and then this one I just bought by itself I think it was like a dollar and I really like it so it's definitely worth that dollar and I've had this pen for I've got to say probably like three years and it still hasn't run out of ink which is very very surprising so pilot pens are definitely a way to go if you're looking for high quality good pens i also have oops i also have a couple of other pilot pens that i really like which are these ones so i got these actually in a goodie bag from a birthday party so i have no idea how much they cost but they're the Pilot Precise V5 pens and they're ballpoint pens or as they call it, extra fine. And that's how they look. I really like that. It makes it look so like, like, how do you, how would you call that? Like professional, yeah. And so I have, I think she got them in like a pack of like a hundred. I don't know the price though, but I really, really like these pens. They're very liquidy, so they don't bleed through the page, but when you flip the page, you do see them. So I'm just gonna warn you guys, but I love these pens. And then this one um, is a Pilot High Tech uh, 5V Grip Ball Point Pen as well. And I really like it because it has like the grip here. So like I put moisturizer on my hands a lot because they get dry easily. So it's hard to write when I have moisturizer on my hands, but because of this grip, it's pretty easy and simple to write with. This is not erasable, but it's a really great pen. And then I also have these Paper Mate pens. So I have green, pink, and purple. These are definitely ballpoint pens. They're the Inky Joy ones. Um, and they're very, very easy to write with, which I love. And they just go on so smoothly on the paper. And I just, I really love that. Um, I also got these in a pack of 10, I think, but the other ones ran out of ink. But I really, really like these. And now to Zebra. So these are the Zebra Mild Liners that I showed you before. And the pens that I'm gonna show you right now are also from the same company. So I have this clicky pen, I think it's called, um, from Zebra, and it came in a pack of two, and I think it was $5. And it's just like a black pen, and I really, really like it, and the grip is also really well, and it goes on super smooth on the paper, and it works really well, so I definitely recommend buying this if you're just looking for a plain black pen. And then this one is the fountain pen from Zebra. I got this off of Amazon. I got it in a pack of two for $10 and I 
love this pen because fountain pens are usually really hard to write with. But this one's so simple. You just take the tip right here and you write on the paper. And I love it. And it has a lot of ink. It's very inky, but surprisingly, it does not bleed through the page. And then lastly, I have a couple of random pens that I really, really like. So I got these also in a pack of 10. I actually didn't put all of the pens at the pencil case because they don't all fit. So I took my favorite colors out of them. Um, oh yeah, sorry, I forgot what I was gonna say. So I really like these pens and they're also multicolored. They're not all black, which I really, really like. And they are the Clip Click Ink. And I also got them at the dollar store for like maybe two dollars a pack of 10, which is a really great price. And then these, I have no idea where they're from. I'm pretty sure this is just from the dollar store as well. Um, it's like a ballpoint pen and I love it. It's probably one of my favorite pens to write with. And this one, I think this one, costs like $10 off of Amazon and I really 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 love this pen because it looks like a little worm thing and then it also it has eyes and it's so cute um I do have ink on it because the cap does fall off sometimes and then it's like <laughs> so as I was saying before the cap does fall off sometimes but I really do love this pen and then I actually got this pencil case as a present from one of my friends and I love it because it's super big which is very much needed because I have so many pens that I like to use and it's so cute because it's flippy. Look at that, it's amazing. Um, so now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to take cute and aesthetic notes. Hold up, I forgot to show you guys. I also have these gel pens, which I really like. They're the Allen Art gel pens from Amazon. They were $20, so they're actually 24 in here, but then they come with refills. That's why it says 48 gel pens. Um, the colors are really vivid, and I really, really like them. Sometimes the only issue with them is that, like, when you write with them, they stop working, even though they have ink, and then you have to, like, shake them up and then write with them again. So it can get a little bit annoying, but I really do love these colors. They're very vivid and fun to write with. So now I'll show you guys how to take cute and aesthetic notes. So there are so many titles that you can use to make your headers. Literally, you can check out you can check out Pinterest. Um, search of aesthetic titles, and it will show you guys so so many. Um, like this and this and this and this and this. Look how many there are. Um, but I'm gonna be showing you guys a couple of my favorite. They're pretty simple and they're pretty super cute. So I'm gonna be using this as like my writing pen for the titles, which is what I usually do. So um, a pretty simple one is, I'm just gonna write the word title. Obviously you're gonna write the actual title. I'm just gonna write title. So um, this one is, so you make a bubble letter for some of the word. all of the letters of this, then definitely go check out Pinterest. Or maybe if you guys want, I can make a video of showing you guys like how to make really cute titles, if that is what you guys want. And so titles are really, really important when it comes to note-taking. Titles are, oh my God, I forgot the L in title. How did I do that? All right. But as I was saying, so titles are very important when it comes to note taking. They're basically as important as the quality of your notes, I feel like, because that's like what people look at to see what your notes are about. So yeah. All right, so when you're done writing title, then you are going to color it in, and I'm gonna be using the fine tip of one of my zebra midliners. I mean, mild liners. I told you guys I sometimes call them midliners. I 
I'm gonna be using the gray one because gray and black are really nice together. And I'm just gonna color in the bubble letter part of it. So that is basically one title. It's super cute and pretty simple and fast to do. And during class, I know sometimes you're taking notes and you don't have time to write a title because like your teachers are going super fast. So I would say during class, take your notes and then when you have free time after class, rewrite your notes, super cute and aesthetic. That is what I do sometimes when my teachers get really fast during class. Um, so the next hill that I'm gonna be showing you guys, I'm actually gonna be using this. Um, zebra midliner so i'm going to be using the highlighter side and i'm going to be using the tip of it so i'm going to be writing um title but in bubble letters and you want to make sure that your title is nice and big so everyone can read it and see how beautiful it is so now this is your choice you can literally do any design that you want inside of the letters you can do heart dots color it in but the design that i'm going to be doing today i'm going to be taking let's do this dark blue color and writing the letter inside just not in bubble letter and you don't want the lines to touch each other when you're doing it and look how pretty that title is it's so cute um i'm gonna show you guys one more title and the rest of the titles if you want to see how you do them just go check out pinterest oh uh, which one should i do there's so many cute ones um i'm gonna show you guys actually two more okay two more so we're gonna use my black where did i put it all my pens. Do you guys see it? <laughs> Does anyone see where I put it? <laughs> oh my god, it was right here. Okay, never mind. So let's do this one. So you're just gonna write the word. Then you're gonna draw a rectangle around it. Once you have the rectangle, you're gonna make two little triangles on the side, like this. And then, I know it looks funky right now, but it will look good when you're done. So you're gonna start about like a little taller than the middle, and you're gonna make like this triangle flag design. is one another title and it's super cute because it looks like 3d and everything and you can color it in if you want but i'm gonna leave it plain black and then another really simple one um is if you write title again you can write it like however you want you can write it a little funky like that um, honestly it really doesn't matter how you want to write it and then you make a rectangle around it again but you don't want to like a movie ticket I guess I don't know it's another cute title um there's also the like plain old original titles you guys know where you take a highlighter or a super mild liner you write I'm gonna use this one you write title with the fat side of the highlighter the one that a lot of people use and it's probably like the easiest and cutest actually this one isn't very easy okay it looks easy but sometimes it's not so you're gonna write that in script inside like the letters title so that's how i write my script t's when it comes to the titles um 
so I make it look like an L and then like I do like little hands <laughs> but it looks super duper cute and so those are all the titles I'm going to be showing you guys today but there are so many more on Pinterest so definitely go check that out and now we're actually going to get to the note taking so let's open up a blank new page and we're going to be doing Let's do it with like this purpley blue color. And oops. Okay. So we're gonna write the word neurons. And you're gonna want, if you're gonna do all your letters lowercase, make them all lowercase. And if you're gonna do them all uppercase, make sure you do them all uppercase. Okay, so now that we have neurons written, oh, by the way, zebra midliner is kind of leak over. Like, they don't leak over to the other page, but they kind of show up, so, yeah. Now that we have neurons written, obviously you don't have to do the next letters in black, but I want to. So, we're just going to write it in script, and I want the script to be lowercase. And now we have our title written. Woo! Written. We're gonna take the notes. So notes are very important to make sure that they're colorful because when you have colorful and fun notes, then it makes studying so much faster and funner. At least in my opinion, I like writing notes and studying notes when they're colorful because it's just it, it's fun in my eyes. So there are a couple ways that I write notes. So a dot is the key point so if i'm gonna put a dot that means it's a key point it's so like a bullet point and then if i put a dash then that is like what that thing does when it comes to biology so first we're just gonna do like the cell body okay so what color should we use hmm. there's so many options okay we're gonna take this so we're gonna write cell body because that's what we're gonna start with so we're gonna make a bullet point. Then when we're gonna write what's inside of it, I'm gonna put a dash. So I'm gonna make that probably like, let's do a purple. We're gonna use this pilot as well, this pilot one. I'll bring up the paper close up to the camera in a second. And now that we're done doing that, we're gonna do processes outside of the cell body. So that's like the outside of the cell body, what happens outside. I'm not teaching you guys biology, so I'm not gonna get too deep into that. So this is how it's looking so far. Purpley pink color, so this is this. So I'm gonna do a dash. Oh wait, no, we're gonna do a dot because it's, we're gonna write process outside of the cell body. I'm gonna put two little dots like that. All of the things are processed outside of the cell body. So first we have the dendrites, which I have right here. So would be nice. I don't let's see, is this the same shape as that? No, not really. Okay, so we're gonna do a dash. So because dendrite is a keyword, we're going we're going to highlight it. I think we're gonna highlight it with a gray. And then, um, when I say con conduct impulses, I'm going to put a note right here, so it's, I'm actually going to make it look like a note, um, and write what impulses that is. So, there's so many ways to do this, but I'm going to make this one look like a clipboard. So, basically, if you want to do that, oh, we're actually going to use a glass.
brush. And then if you want, you can color the clipboard. And I do want to, so. show you guys how my notes look at the end so these are my final notes so as you can tell I did add some like post-it notes um on the side so so that I know that this post-it note belongs to the Schwann cells I added the color that I highlighted the word with to the post-it note and then the myelin sheath here and then the de dendrites here and so this is the final product product of my notes. And I think it looks super duper cute. And it just makes me want to study so much more because it's so much fun I have to study when stuff are colorful and pretty. And I feel like when stuff have like little doodles or drawings in them, it makes you want to study it more because it looks like there's less writing because there's doodles and drawings. So I definitely recommend trying out this note taking technique. And if you want to see more videos like this or see how to draw titles for your notes, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so that you are notified each time a new video comes out. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye!